Sturdivant is joining us now from a flooded home in Durham where people there needed to be rescued. Nick, uh, how are things out there now? Well, crews, Rod and Angela, still trying to get the water that is surrounding this home. You can see they're using a, a device to suck that water up. Now, a few minutes ago, I talked to a woman who lives at this house. She told me that uh, her husband, of course, her and their small dog are doing okay. Um, she says basically she was taking a nap when her husband <laughs> this afternoon woke her up and said the fire department is outside, and that's when they found their their house surrounded by water. The water uh, several feet high. Um, you know, the, water, uh, the fire department had to use uh, a, a boat to come and, and rescue them. Apparently, a neighbor uh, called 911 when they saw that water surrounded, surrounded their home. Uh, now, they told me that this is the fourth time something like this has happened. Uh, this is the worst it's been as far as the flooding around their home. But because their home sits so low um, on this, or I'm standing on a hill, but sits so low, uh, it just makes it easy for it to flood. But again, they said they were doing okay. Um, and maybe they'll move back in the house uh, this weekend. I know we're supposed to get some more rain, but uh, they're actually looking to do some construction to prevent something like this from happening again. Back to you guys. Yeah, it's a scary situation.